The following is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on April 3rd, 1975, in Mayapur, India. They, they think that we are limiting God by saying that He's a person, hmm? or that He has form. And that is their foolishness. <coughs> that is their foolishness. They are thinking God, a person mm-hmm. like me, like Himself. That is foolish. They cannot conceive that a person become, can become so powerful than myself. That is it. <coughs> a person has achinta shakti, achinta shakti, inconceivable power. Now, just like you are a person, you cut your hair, it is growing. Do you know how it is growing? No. Then? Even it is beyond your conception. What to speak of others? But it is growing. It is. Huh? If there is any uh, scar or the, if the nail is broken somewhere, it will come out. But you cannot manufacture it by conceiving. But it is coming out. That means within you there is an inconceivable power. So if you have got an ordinary human being, so much inconceivable power, how much God has got inconceivable power? There is God. <coughs> In Los Angeles you called it mystic power, that yes. every living creature has some mystic power. Yes. I really mean think so. You gave the example of a lemon tree. Yes. The mystic power producing tons of citrus. Citric acid. Yes. Lemon juice. <laughs> Achinta Shakti. Inconceivable power. Cow eating grass, producing milk. This is inconceivable power. Can you produce milk from the grass? But why? How the cow is producing? Hmm? Answer this. <laughs> you eat grass and produce milk. <laughs> Give your wife grass and let her produce milk. <laughs> Your question is answered? Uh, uh, it's answered, but uh, they would say that our saying that, you say, I said, where did God come from? You say, that is the definition of God. Yeah. But then they can say... Everything comes from God, but He says that. Is God. <coughs> that is the searching out God, that you search. You, you, where from you come? From your Father. Then your father comes from his father, from his father, go on, go on. When you reach one person, he does not come from any father, he is self-sufficient, and then he's God. That is the definition. If God also comes like you, from a father, then how is God? He's like you. That is the definition. 
But they say that's not logically proved. That is that, logical in bad mind. You have no brain to understand. Mm. That is the distinction between God and ourselves. We are caused, but He is cause of all causes. That is God. Otherwise, how you distinguish between you and God? You are caused, but He is not caused. He is causeless. If He becomes caused, then He becomes like you, and now He becomes God. That is the distinction between God and us. Srimad <laughs> Bhagavad in the beginning it is said, Sarat. Independent. Huh? Independent. Yes. Then Madhya this absolute truth is that from which who is the origin of everything, but he is Sarat. This is the first line of Bhagavad. They don't like it because God doesn't come under their jurisdiction then. Huh? They want they want God to be under their jurisdiction. Uh, so that is their foolishness. You shall be under the jurisdiction of God. God is not under your jurisdiction. Then how is God? <clears throat> they can't understand mm. how it is that matter, mm. uh, they, they accept that matter always mm. existed. They can't understand our point. Matter existed? Always. That, in the be that eternally there is uh, gas in the atmosphere, in the universe. What about the gas then? <laughs> well, they say, they believe that it always existed. Always existing. Yes, that's their idea. Mm. Just like we say God is Swarat, they say that the matter is Swarat. Yes, in, not Swarat. Uh, we, we never find a gas is Swarat, matter is Swarat. Uh, and they, they, does this body, has this body come out itself? Because the soul is there, the body has developed. That the cause of this body is the soul. The body is not independent. And the soul goes, I mean, the body is never independent. It cannot move. It becomes just like dust. Dust thou art, dust thou beest. <laughs> This body is moving now, but it is not independent. It is dependent on the soul. The soul goes away, it does not move. So how it is independent? And everyone knows that because the soul takes shelter within the womb of the mother, the body develops. If the child comes out dead, it does not develop. The matter is dependent on the soul, living being. <coughs> Their argument is that matter is always in motion, <coughs> is always moving. Where is moving? Is it moving? Well, they say the atoms, the molecules, are always in motion. First of all, prove that this is moving. And then the all say all this nonsense. First of all, why it is not moving? This this piece of earth, why it is not moving? 
They say it's moving very slowly. You can't huh? see it moving. Huh? It's moving so slow you can't see it. Ah, then you become blind, then you can see. <laughs> you can just say the whole world is moving, the whole cosmic manifestation. Yes, that is another thing. But that, how that is moving we have to settle. But matter as itself does not move. Because they say that within the, within the earth... That is within you have got very good sight within. But I am a layman, I want to see that it is moving. <laughs> <laughs> you have got some imaginary eyes, you can see. They say that's advancement. Huh? Advancement of yes, science. Yes, to become blind is advancement, certainly. Then they say, who will say it is moving? Unless he is a fool. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Moving, that's all right. Everyone, uh, the whole world is moving. That is another thing. But as it is, why, where it is moving? They're talking about the atomic structure. Mm -hmm. That the atoms are moving. Uh, that where it is moving. Within the atoms, there is movement. Then yeah, today, this morning, I see it is lying there. Tomorrow you come, it is lying there. Where it is moving? What does it mean by moving? Well, they say that when Adam... They say, you say what it is. Huh. Don't say, they say. <laughs> you use your intelligence. If the foolish man says something, shall I have to accept it? You use your own intelligence. They say. If they are authority, then we have got authority. If, if you do not accept my authority, why shall I accept your authority? Come to argument. They say. Why they, we will accept? They say. Why? Are the authority? No. Then? What is the use of they say? You say. Why you will say they say, I will say they say. My authority. <laughs> my authority. <coughs> if you define my authority, why shall I accept your authority? <coughs> Then come to plain logic. Well, you look at the, the earth and you see it, it is stationary. Huh? Just like we look at the building over there. Mm. From a distance it is stationary. But if we go inside, we can see there is so much movement. Yeah. So similarly, you may walk by this earth every day and see it is stationary. Mm. But if you analyze it underneath a uh, microscope, you will see that there is so much movement going on but, within. But that is due to the earth. That is due to air. Just like we can see so many uh, atoms are moving in the uh, hole from the wall. But that is due to air. So this is also moving. The whole thing is moving by air. Not, not automatically. Not automatically. Mm. You cannot say automatically. No. Air is moving. Just like the in the air, the cloud is moving. The cloud is not moving. The air moving and the cloud moving. Anyway, the basic proposition is that they they don't have. They don't want to accept God, so they can don't have to be accountable for their activities. Huh? So that they don't have to be accountable for their activities. Mm. Certainly. And they are being accountable. Uh, if they become so dull-headed, then the God's power will make him a tree stand here, stand up here for three thousand years. That's all. You are so dull-headed <laughs> that you, you have no sense. So become a tree so that even if you are cut, you cannot protest. You have no sense, senses. That is the punishment. If you don't eat prasadam, then eat stool. This is the arrangement. <coughs> See, they are being punished. But they are so dull-headed they cannot understand.
with their science they've been able to build so many buildings and roads and bridges and so many things But which they consider what wonderful. But what the building, he'll be kicked out. Your building will remain there. Your spoiling labor will remain there. But you will be kicked out. You cannot leave there. Who is, who is managing these affairs? So you have constructed this building, all right, I kick you out, get out. Then what is the purpose of building? Huh? If you know that I am constructing this high building and tomorrow somebody will kick me out, then what is the use? Have you made it ensured that he will not be kicked out? No. Then it is useless waste of time. You can enjoy it while you are here, though. That's all. That is called foolishness. That I am going to be kicked out tomorrow <laughs> and let me enjoy tonight. That's all. That is foolishness. <coughs> This is their only uh, recourse because they don't believe in anything after this life. Yeah, they that. don't believe and don't take knowledge means foolishness. Yes. Just like you are walking, you don't believe that you are going to the temple. <coughs> you are simply walking. Is that very intelligent? We are going, we are going to some place. We know that. That is intelligent. And if I ask you why you are walking, that I do not know. Is that very intelligent, man? Like animal. Animal? Then so. Animal also knows that I'll have to go there. Without any aim, without any purpose, if they are working, that's rule number one. Mura. Sometimes the argument is put forward that in places where there's not sufficient foods and shelter and things like this. Mm -hmm. These problems should be solved first before the problem of spiritual life. Yes, why don't you solve? There is so many land. Come here and grow fruit. Grow my fruit. That is that is the desire of Krishna. And now Bhavanti and Bhutani produce food and eat sufficiently. Be strong and chant Hare Krishna. Why? That is our pleasure. Why you are producing bolts and nuts? Tire and tubes, eat. <laughs> Rascals, they do not know. The first of all, we must eat. No, everyone is engaged in industry. Why? Uh, Krishna does not say that. Take to industry. Krishna says, uh, produce food stuff. Anad bhavanti bhutan. If you produce food stuff, then both your animal, yourself, will be happy, becoming strong. Why do they manufacture uh, other things? All these people are engaged in manufacturing, and nobody is uh, uh, growing food. Therefore, the price of food grain is rising. Uh, suppose I am growing food, and you are not growing, so you have to purchase from me. I ask you have to pay this price, but you have to pay. And if you grow your own food. There is no sacrifice, cost there. The simple economic problem, solution, this rascal cannot take. If you grow your own food, I grow my own, then who is going to purchase? The price will be reduced. Automatically. If you have no customer, then you have to reduce your price. But they do not understand even this simple thing. That God has given us enough land to produce food grain, and we must eat. They do not understand this, and they still they are scientists, philosophers, politicians. You see, that is the difficulty. All rascals, fools, they are leading the whole human society. <coughs> they are too busy making money to grow their own food. Also, I then pay more money. Come on, 
You have earned money and give me, I shall give you food. And whatever I shall ask, you have to pay. This simple thing. More demand, price is more. Then why do you grab? Oh, everything is price growing, price growing. Why it is not? If I have got food and you have to purchase, and I have got so many customers, I must increase. That is economic theory. More demand, the price is increased. And then you say, there are so many problems we have to solve first. But you have created this problem, rascal. <laughs> and you said, must suffer. You have infected some disease, now you must suffer. It is like say, karanam gunasangas. Uh, the reason is that you have infected some quality of the more some nature, and you must suffer for that. How you can deny it? Huh? If you have infected some disease, that is called a smallpox, and when you are suffering, how you can blame? You have infected, you must suffer. Nature's law is so strict that as soon as you infect a particular type of quality of nature, there are so many, you must suffer for that. Or so-called enjoy. There are two things, suffer and enjoy. So you must have to undergo the process. This is nature's process is so nice. As soon as you do something, there is reaction, and you, you are bound up. Jagyārtha karma natra lūkāyam karma bandhana. Bandhana means bound up. Immediately become bound up. And still you are thinking independent. Nature's law is so strict. But the argument is that the cities are there, and now what can we do? Hmm? The cities are already there. There are millions of people. Therefore, you are offering this place. Come here. Why do you uh, not come here and live with us? That this is a Krishna consciousness movement. Is this is the movement that you come here, live with us, and produce your food, produce your milk, be happy, healthy, and chant Hare Krishna. This is our movement. Therefore we are creating new Vrindavan and farm and we are trying to purchase. This is our movement. That we give you sufficient food, shelter, health, philosophy, religion, character, everything, purity. <coughs> come here. Why don't you come? They come here on the weekdays and they fly <coughs> We are giving such nice law, but they will not live here. They will go to the habitable level of the city. They like to come here, therefore they spend so much money for gas and come here, but because they are not accustomed, they go back again. Return ticket from hell. To heaven and again hell. <laughs> Return to coming back to hell again. Not going back to God. In the Prabhupada, you said there was a man who read your easy journey mm. and he was very enthusiastic that yeah. he could go to other planets. Ah, but he must come back. Yes. He said, Oh, I am not coming back again? No. No, no, then I don't come. <laughs> Yes, that is, that is the psychology. The <coughs> Russians, when the, some aeronaut was flying high in the sky, he was saying, where is my Moscow? <laughs> yeah, it is published. That is Maya. Huh? The, the, the another incident happened and when the um, jet was in danger, he was thinking of how to come back home. This is Maya. You cannot go. Even though you like to go, still uh, it will attract you again, back to hell. 
otherwise how people are living in what is called the place where is ice alaska alaska huh? alaska uh, or what is the name of those people eskimos eskimos, eskimos. eskimos. is that very good living <laughs> you see they won't come here This is my. This is my. Abur in atmika shakti. They, he is living in hell, but my is covering. No, it is not hell. It is heaven. This is my. Similarly, all of us we are living in this universe, material universe. We are thinking this is all good. What is the use of God and going back to home, back to Godhead? They do not take it very seriously. Although you give all information that you'll have, you haven't got to work there, you get everything, your life is eternal and blissful, full of knowledge, they are not interested. Huh? Plucked. <laughs> Plucked. Yes. Plucked. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. You go on speaking, but I have planned my. <laughs> <laughs> chant, chant, chant. <laughs> yes, I can't, can't, can't. Yes. <laughs> this is my. <laughs> the best intelligence is that we are hearing so much about the spiritual world. There is so much happiness. Why not try one life? Like cats and dogs, I have tried so many lives. Why not sacrifice one life? What is the loss there? But no, they're so many fallen, they will not accept. One man wrote a book about our movement, mm. Hare Krishna, and he said, one tragedy of this movement is that if a young boy or girl takes to this movement mm. and later decides to try the material world again, he will have ruined his chances for a career. <laughs> and it will be too late for him. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the hobby coming on. Therefore Krishna says, Manasyanam sahasesu, prasthid yadu kishinya. Out of many millions of people, one may become interested about what is the perfection of life. They do not want. And out of such millions of persons, jatatāma visiddhāna, who are striving for perfection of life, out of many millions of them, one can understand me, Krishna. Maya is so strong. Manishtana, Sahasesu, Pasti, Jyotishi. Everything there in the world. Krishna consciousness is not for ordinary person. Most fortunate Bhagavanji, Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai, Bhakti Lata Vishi. All these living entities are wandering throughout the universe. Yurupe Brahmanda Brahmite. If one gets the chance of Guru and Krishna, then he can understand. If still one argues, then he is again misfortune. Therefore Krishna demands, you rascal, don't argue, surrender. Sarvadharmaan paritya jimaan. That is the way. He commands.
sir, you were, you were asking if there were any um, examples of explosions happening without material cause. And I was just wondering if you could explain how volcanoes explode. Hmm? That is God's desire, nature's way. Nature is behind this. And through behind the nature, huh? through the demigods? No, nature, the material nature. Right? Just like uh, sometimes <coughs> at night you have got, um, what is it called? Pollution, night pollution. Yes. Huh? So why it is happening? Why it is happening? Why this eruption comes? Can you explain? Huh? I don't know what night pollution is. Huh? Fasting seminar. Oh. Why it, it does happen? What is your explanation? Nobody can explain? Desire. Nature. Desire in the heart. Yeah. Desire. This is nature. Huh? No, no, nature, the body is made of material nature. And the uh, uh, eruption is coming. Why it is coming? Does it come in the dead body? No. Then what is the cause? It's a living entity. Because the soul is there. <coughs> Similarly, the super soul is there and he is arranging everything. The volcanic eruption does not check automatically. When it is desired by Krishna, then it takes place. Maya Dhaksena. I didn't read Bhagavad Gita. Under my superintendence. When he knows that now this eruption is required, immediately there is Prasya Shakti Vividha Yusya. He has got so many potencies. One potency was Krishna. Because the living soul is there, therefore the uh, seminal discharge takes place. Similarly, because the Supreme Living is there, there are all these things around me. Where is it difficult to understand? Krishna says, Vishtabhya aham idam krishnam. The whole worldly affair is going on because I am there. Vishtabha, I have entered into it. Don't you read in the Bhagavad Gita? Yeah? And we are reading that portion how Karnam Namsai Vishnu uh, enters in the each universe, he'll, then he expands himself at Kiro Dokshai Vishnu. We are explaining that. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Vishtabhya. Vishtabhya means entering. You've written that Mahavishnu has some attraction to the material world? No. He has not traps, right? He has got this. That's what he creates. Mahavishnu knows, or Krishna knows, that these rascals will have attraction for this material. All right, let me arrange. He has not traps. Why he will have attraction? Some, one of the devotees said they read that in one of the books. Huh? There is one purport that says that Krishna is different than Vishnu because he's not. he has nothing to do with the material world. Yeah. But Mahavishnu, he has some attraction where... No attraction. He is duty... he is... Uh, uh, what is called duty-bound. Assigned by Krishna. Or he is not honored. Krishna expands on Mahavishnu and takes charge of this effort. Before I was asking about the uh, scientific theory that the 
atoms are always moving. And you said that the uh, Earth is not moving now. Hmm? You said that the you pointed to a chunk and said that it is not moving. Hmm. But there. But if you think that you are also moving, everything is moving because you are on the Earth. <laughs> when the train moves, everything moves. But how it moves, train, that has you have to search out. Hmm. Train is not automatically moving. That Some is... power engine hmm. is moving it. That is blind vision. That train is moving. Now how the train is moving? You have to see, that is childish. Train is not moving. The engine is moving, the train, and how the engine is moving, the coal, fire is moving, then how where from the coal come? In this way you have to search out, you'll find ultimately the supreme cause is Krishna. Nothing is moving without Krishna's indication. That is the explanation. Maya Dakshi, no? Under my superintendence. And Krishna desire, this big, big chunk will move in the air. And recently, Madhubhita Maharaj said, the buses were flying in the sky. Buses? Yes. <laughs> in Darwin? Oh, no. That's that, that cyclone. Yes. Yeah. And oh. whole city is massed. No more they don't know how to search beyond the uh, the microscope level. Microscope level. They no. think that the atoms have their own energy. They don't know the process of searching. The energy is Krishna is there. paramanu Osura's business is to avoid Krishna. That is that. 